Hello and welcome to this series of lectures on uh, looking at the dev.java website. It's a new website uh, which is designed uh, for spreading the knowledge of Java and it's a very interesting concept. So I'm going to open it up. So I'm in my Eclipse ID. So Windows uh, show view and then we're going to open up a uh, internet web browser. I'm going to type in dev.java and it's going to complain because it requires a secure uh, transport uh, policy so i'm just going to add https and it opens up the dev.java website as you can see this website was introduced with the introduction or the release of java 17 which is a relatively exciting uh, release of java it brings some uh, interesting new features which have been finalized they were previewed in the previous versions of java but now they are finalized in java 17 and we will look at them so the aim of uh, dev.java is to learn uh, teach you java stuff uh, help you quickly find the links to download JDKs and it also wants to build a community and then you can also look for ways to contribute and then you can also look at the news and the future uh, for the future perspectives of Java. So the arrival of Java 17 uh, used by over 10 million developers and running on 56 billion devices globally. The Java platform truly moves the world forward and uh, Java is uh, still one of the uh, most uh, widely used uh, Java uh, basically programming languages and now even faster with Java 17. Now obviously they're improving JDK, JVM itself and then the JIT compiler is also getting better and better. So definitely some uh, speed uh, improvements happening as we move forward with the new releases of Java. So it's not just the uh, new features, uh, it's also improvements, incremental and sometimes very small changes but in general there are incremental improvements to the JVM itself download or try out Java here so uh, download Java 17 so if you click on this it takes you to the Oracle page I believe currently Java 17 is the latest release so whenever you come to this dev.java website it tells you what's the latest release of Java what the latest release is you can click on learn Java to start uh, looking at uh, they have articles about teaching you Java so that's a good thing the destination for Java developers hundreds of tutorials news and videos from the experts uh, uh, all here so get it started get it started with Java Java language basics downloading Java lambda expressions the stream API the collection framework so these are the deeper concepts lambda expressions these were introduced in Java 8 with the introduction of um, uh, basically uh, with the JDK 8 we had the single function uh, or single method interfaces which were abstract right now we have we, we can annotate them with um, functional interface and then uh, use uh, and uh, those functional interfaces they actually bind to lambda expressions i will show you some examples later on a stream api this was also introduced in java 8 and then uh, they uh, heavily interoperate with lambda expressions and functional interfaces collection frameworks is still there in java and uh, again these are uh, still don't uh, support uh, primitive types so all the collections are based on object types however with the introduction of vector api um, we believe that eventually there is a merge between the uh, objects and non primitive types in the collections so collections will support uh, uh, both primitive types and uh, object types and uh, so there are some resource links here java news official java podcast and more and this is on youtube they have a very nice uh, java podcast and i believe it started from uh, 2018 i believe or 2019 upcoming events so you can check what events are coming up latest news and events uh, stay informed with the latest java news and events there are some news here on this side 11 tricks from uh, dev.java inside java newscast so they also have this newscast uh, uh, basically uh, youtube basically videos that they publish uh, every once in a while and they talk about new features or anything uh, new in uh, java jep proposed so if you don't know what jep is jep is java enhancement proposal and these are proposals that are uh, basically suggestions that are proposed by community, Java developers, or maybe the Oracle developers themselves. 
um, obviously Java is the development of Java is driven by the community not just by Oracle because it's now open JDK right and uh, so they propose enhancements and then people vote for it and if it gets accepted eventually somebody or some part of some group either first party from Oracle or third party from other companies like uh, IBM for example they take charge and then uh, fork the latest version of the JDK from the open JDK repositories I believe it's on the git now and then uh, uh, they work on that uh, proposal and then once that's finalized they can either release it as a preview feature or maybe it's at some point maybe they even drop it it all depends on how how well the implementation is so internet address resolution spi why user mode threads are often the right answer text blocks so text blocks i believe were introduced as a preview feature in um, or maybe as a final feature in jdk 15 we can look at these and I can quickly actually show you. So if I uh, go here in my source folder and create a package, uh, test blocks, uh, text blocks. So, and let's create a new class. Uh, let's call this test one. Let's have a main method here. Uh, so basically a text block, text block is uh, basically, uh, it's annotated with three uh, double quotes and then you write your stuff in. You have to go to the new line and then terminate it uh, with three. And this allows you to write multiple lines as a single string. So I can say a string S is uh, uh, basically three quotes and then here it automatically aligns it and I'm going to terminate with semicolon and now this becomes a multi-line string right so the whole idea of text block is multi-line strings which sometimes makes life much easier so hello this is a demo of uh, uh, text blocks right and then you can even use um, basically escape sequences backslash uh, uh, for example I can say backslash t here and then blocks and backslash n for example and if i run this let's do a system dot out so sys out s and let's run this and as you can see the alignment so the compiler already knows how to get rid of these white spaces so hello this is a demo of right and then uh, text blocks and then text we have escape sequence backslash t block and then backslash n uh, CKS right so these white spaces are removed and I believe they added some uh, methods um, I'm not sure they they had some experimental feature to be able to align the way you want it but uh, at some point maybe they removed it I'm not sure but text blocks are there note that I'm using um, JDK 15 here and as you can see text blocks work on jdk 15 and so i believe this feature was finalized in jdk 15 and you can just use it um, makes life easier in general other programming languages like python they also have this multi-line and in python you can either use single code or double code in java you should use double codes all right and uh, upcoming events devops uk this is annual conference i believe jfall and then uh, code motion online doag and the future of java so they release uh, so they have this java youtube channel which has very interesting talks and these are uh, talks or uh, some podcasts that are released by oracle so you can subscribe to java uh, youtube channel so they have moving Java forward keynote. I believe this is the most recent version of videos and they talk about what where, the way that Java is headed to the future in this keynote from the Oracle Developer Live Conference. Learn about Java's newest features and the newest features are um, pattern matching for switch, uh, switch expression, for example. Java's release cadence, they switch to a six month cadence, right? long-term support model so um, LTS versions I believe every three years and more and know that JDK 17 is an LTS or long-term support version a stewardship this is I believe it's a relatively old video and uh, they talk about uh, why they move to uh, Java 9 with modular system and why they are trying to strongly encapsulate internals of the JDK we all know that uh, Sun Misc on safe is still open so you can still access it as a developer but at some point they're going to really strongly encapsulate it and don't let anyone um, 
uh, basically use that API. And by the way, if you look at the, all the modules, any module associated with Java dot, these are part of the public API of Java. And after that, anything that is associated with JDK, these are part of the private or internal parts of the API. What this means is that anything that is associated with JDK dot, JDK dot compiler, etc., you shouldn't be really uh, accessing these API. You should only access the API that uh, starts with Java, right? So java.base, java.compiler, java.data transfer, java.desktop, java.instrument, java.logging, java.management, java.management.rmi, java.naming, java.net.http, java.prefs, this is for preferences management, java.rmi, java.scripting, java.se, and this is empty, this just adds the module, but java.se is basically just a compilation of different modules java.security.jgss java.security.sasl java.sql java.sql roset java.transaction.xa java.xml java.xml.crypto so these are really the modules that are part of the public api so if you look at the java.se it just uh, provides a module info for um, basically which modules are part of the standard edition right and as you can see anything that starts with Java is part of the standard edition these are all these uh, uh, Java these are all the uh, these uh, ones that start with Java compiler data transfer desktop instrument login management naming HTTP prefs scripting security SQL transaction XML right so these are part of the standard uh, Java edition Java SE All right, so this one Java language features late 221 and we already uh, if you haven't looked at this I highly recommend you look at this YouTube video which talks about pattern matching switch expressions record types and records are um, Basically, these are simple data structures plain or plain data structures very similar to the strike types in C++ and then uh, 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 He talks about the latest innovation in Java as well as a sneak peek at what's coming so modern scalable concurrency for Java platform and so they are trying to move away from the concept of mapping Java threads to uh, operating system threads because then the scheduling is all uh, on the shoulders of the operating system scheduler which might not be the optimal case for your Java application. So what they're trying to do, they're trying to introduce a lightweight version of uh, threads or basically a new model of the threading in Java, which also allows JVM to do part of the scheduling for your uh, threads, right? So they're introducing the project Loom and the concept of fibers. Fibers are lightweight threads. They're, that's the way you can think of them. And uh, uh, one fiber doesn't directly map to one uh, operating system thread. Instead, the JVM takes the responsibility for scheduling how the how one group of fibers match or gets mapped to one thread of the operating system so JVM also takes the responsibility of doing some sort of uh, scheduling for your tasks for your threads that way um, your Java application can utilize uh, threading multi-threading much better because now JVM is part of that scheduling and JVM is much more aware of what's going on in your Java application so uh, it's not just the operating system itself, right? Project Loom, which aims to reinstate the thread as an efficient unit of concurrency by adding a lightweight implementation of threads to the Java platform. So I believe at some point they call them fibers. I don't know if it's still the name, but we will see how this Project Loom will eventually be finalized and integrated into JVM. So this was the brief introduction to the dev.java. We will look at the, especially with these tutorials. These are some interesting tutorials and I will walk you through all of them in the future tutorials. So please stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.